Green Card was actually started in the dining room of my apartment, the apartment I lived in in college, the apartment I still live in now with my husband and my son. And its original mission was to support young and emerging talent. The goal was really to, you know, a lot of kids who were getting out of NYU, they would go work the desk at like a large production company. And we thought that we might be able to just hop, skip over that and, and take these young filmmakers and help them build a reel so that they could pursue whatever creative outlet that they wanted to. And largely that meant directors. So we were taking young directors and, and building them. So the goal really is to was to show them how to build their reel and how to make money from commercial work while also still being able to pursue their film film work. And that sort of we started with the base of we started with the base of a lot of young NYU students, but also we're taking, you know, saying young and emerging didn't always mean that you were physically young. You know, we we had a lot of directors who were working in VFX who then wanted to do more live action and also some still photographers that were looking to get more into film. And and nowadays you actually see a lot more crossover in the still photography and the video content that's being created. So it's interesting how the market has evolved. I think over the years, like we started, we started in the tail end of, of music videos. There was still at the time, you know, we're about 12 years old. At the very beginning, most of, there was still a lot of money to be made from music video content that since has changed since, you know, the internet and where kind of that industry has gone. So we, we got a lot of our first chops in making music videos and that's sort of how we got our name for ourselves initially. And then we had to sort of adjust as the, I think a big piece of what you need to do is be adaptable in this day and age because content is diversifying. The way people watch content is changed from watching content on a TV to watching content on the internet, on YouTube, to now watching it on your phone. So we've, we adapted basically by moving from doing music videos to doing more traditional advertising and to ultimately to doing a lot of branded content. So we've had several feature films. We had a TV show on IFC for a couple of seasons. We did a web series for Yahoo Screen. And we've really tried to pursue those creative endeavors alongside the commercial work. The company did get started out of my apartment but did not live there for, for very long because we were, the co-op board basically came to me and said that we couldn't run a business out of my apartment which rightly so, at that time we were having, we had, you know, three interns who were sitting around my coffee table with cross legs and their laptops and we were cramming folding tables into my dining room so that we could get more people in to facilitate the productions. We were having crazy wardrobe fittings. I had a, I had a director of photography who was storing all of his camera equipment in the apartment and he was bringing 10 to 12 cases of camera gear up and down a manually operated elevator with elevator men every single day. So we had to get our own space. And I think because it started in my apartment, the idea of the space has always been to keep it very homey and very kind of keep a kind of family oriented environment on some level. So uh, the space itself is a pretty big loft, but it's very open and there are a lot of different pockets of areas that are created. So there are a lot of couches and then there's there are workspaces for production. And the other thing that we've tried to keep with the space is to have it be adaptable. So depending on what an individual production needs, we're able to move the walls around and move the tables around. We even have a space in the back where we're able to shoot small things. You know, we can shoot like a one person interview. We can shoot tabletop on top of a tabletop because we do a lot of stuff with miniatures and with stop motion and the like.